Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. A year ago, I had a near-death life experience, and ever since then, I could pick up on energies, and I could even hear from God itself. I was told that it would take me 14,422 lifetimes for my soul's journey to be completed. So I decided to start a social media platform so I could help more people, speed this train on up, and finally get the heck up off this planet. Tired. Tired of working out and watching what I eat every day. We're ready to go home. Get my spirit body so I can eat what I want. <laughs> Guys, welcome back to Instructions for Humanity. It is your girl, your spiritual teacher, Tahira, where I teach the divine message that I received that we are all one in love. Yes, guys, grow with me, love with me. It's going to be a great ride. Okay, guys. Let's go ahead and get the elephant out the room. Now, I understand that my earrings are giving off some sort of light to the camera, but I had a decision to make. Video quality or earrings? And I think we know who won. Okay. So just bear with me on this one. But guys, we are into episode three of the emails I received from the interview I did about my near-death life experience on the Jeff Mora podcast. Guys, it's linked in the description box. Please go ahead and support his channel too, and you can watch my story. This is the reason why I'm on YouTube answering all of you guys' emails, so I do appreciate the love and the support. Okay, so episode three, you guys know how I like to do it. I like to just get right to it. I'm going to go ahead and read the email I received. Then I'm going to give my intuitive response. And then we are going to hear from spirit to see what spirit got to say. Because sometimes spirit got to get some things off the universe chest. Okay. <laughs> now, guys, I like to give fun, funny uh, titles to each and every episode. And this is not to demean anybody's experience. God has a personality and we should too. So I am titling this one, episode three of the emails, going back to yonder to be with my Lord. If you know, then you know. Okay, guys, let's get straight into the email I received from this beautiful soul. Hi, Tahira. I've been on a spiritual journey since my late 20s. I'm 52. I watched your interview with Jeff Mara just a few minutes ago. Your story resonates with me, not the NDE, but the quest to experience the unconditional love that indie ears talk about. Since I've watched my first NDE interview, I'm longing to go home. I want to know my life's purpose so I can do it correctly and finish it and finally be allowed to go home to source. I've even contemplated suicide so that I can go home. What kept me from killing myself is my ego. I don't want people to think I killed myself because I'm depressed. I don't know how to explain it to you. I felt that I was led to watch your interview, hoping that you are an instrument sent by source to guide me in my journey. If what I feel is correct, this will resonate with you. If not, I still thank you for your story. Love and light. Guys, guys, every time I read these emails, I choke up because I am an empath. I can feel, I can feel the pain and the burdens in you guys' heart area. And I'm telling you, it's, even though it's painful, it's still beautiful. Okay. Cause I can really feel your heart. So I do thank you for this email. Thank you very much. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and read my intuitive response. What I was led to go ahead and reply back. Okay. So this is my response to the email. Thanks for taking the time to email me and share your personal struggles. I was once in your shoes. I have thought about suicide as well, just so I could return home. Unfortunately, but fortunately for us, that's not how it works. We would be thrust back into another body to pick up where we left off 
because there is no way around learning the lessons that we are to learn. It is the lessons that our soul yearns for, which is why we came into existence. I find that our life's purpose changes throughout our lives. As we grow and evolve, so does our purpose. Your purpose is the thing that you try to shut out of your head because it doesn't make sense to the outside world. You're beautiful. I want you to know that. And our journey is not over until we take our last breath. And even then it continues in a different way. Okay, that's just what I sent. And guys, I can still feel it. It's, it's really hard doing these videos because I really feel you guys. I just want you to know that I love you. Okay, so guys, we're going to now switch gears here and hear what spirit has to say. So I went into a bit of a meditation state and I recorded it. So I'm going to play a snippet about a minute and a half of what spirit had to say. And then we're going to go ahead and read the whole thing. And then we're going to break it down and get the lesson because there is a lesson in all of these emails that we can all learn from, okay? All right, here we go. Let's get that email up here. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and play what Spirit had to say to this beautiful soul. Your spirit is light. Childlike. You want me to pick you up and hold you. But I would be doing a disservice to you because you are here to create the life you want. Don't listen to the naysayers. They don't know what you know. Just tune into your spirit self where I reside in you and you in me. Love is the answer. In love, you will find healing and peace. So we are going to leave that there. I just wanted to play a snippet because I don't want this video to be too long. But guys, that was just very beautiful. Once again, spirit stepping in to go ahead and offer words of encouragement to its children. And it is beautiful. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and read that, okay? One second, okay? All right, here we go. This is what Spirit had to say to his beautiful child. My dear daughter, you are light and love at the core. It's never too late to experience the fullness of my divine plan for your life. It's not over. In fact, it has yet to fully begin. Be patient my dear child. Your spirit is light and childlike. You want me to pick you up and hold you, but I would be doing a disservice to you because you are here to create the life you want. Don't listen to the naysayers. They don't know what you know. Just tune 
into your spirit self where I reside in you and you in me. Love is the answer. In love, you will find healing and peace. Laugh. Laughter brings you closer to me. It's just so beautiful every time I hear it. And, you know, what's funny is I actually did get a response um, from this beautiful soul. And um, it just goes to show you that these emails, they're really just going to help so many people. So she actually responded to me. And she said, call that synchronicity to the highest level, the divine source, to the divine source. I am sorry for doubting you. She said that she was crying out of frustration and she was starting to lose faith. Okay. And she said, I started praying to the divine and my spirit guides and to my higher self to please give me signs if my choices are in alignment for what I came here for. She said she got frustrated because she thought she made the right choice. But then once she went home, those doubts started creeping in, right? Because of the naysayers. That's why God mentioned don't listen to the naysayers. So we were just, just goes to show you that we were really picking up on the energy and the spirit of this beautiful soul that emailed, right? And, um, you know, that was beautiful. So um, she did confirm that it did resonate with her. And she said something that's really, really funny um, when she emailed back, um, goodness let me try to find it because it was just so it was just so much it was so funny oh here it is she was like no more shortcuts if i'm here to learn the hard lessons in this lifetime so be it can't promise i won't complain though <laughs> i love that that was just so funny okay guys let's go ahead and unpack all of this okay and find the teaching so that we can learn from what she is going through all right Let's go ahead and see. Let's break this down. So one thing that stuck out to me is she said that she's been on her journey, her spiritual journey for 30 years. I've been on my journey for 20 years. Guys, this is not a sprint, right? We are infinite multidimensional beings. Our soul is going to be at this for eternity, right? We don't have to get everything right in just a few years and even in a few lifetimes, guys. That's why we keep coming back to the earth school to face even greater challenges. So I just want to say to her, and even the divine source said it to her, said, it's not over. It's never too late to experience the fullness of my di divine plan for your life. So it's like spirit was answering. She's like, hey, I've been doing this for 30 years. The spirit said, no, it's never too late to experience the divine plan. It's not over. And in fact, it has yet to fully begin. Because even though she's 52, she's a baby still. In terms of the soul's journey and how long we'll be at this. Guys, we're still babies. You could be 80 or 90 or 100. We're still babies in this. Okay, I want you to know that it's never too late. All right. The other thing is, and I thought this was pretty cool because I think this really resonated with me too. He said, your spirit is light and childlike, okay? Sometimes we can be, we can have a youthful spirit and that kind of translates to other things in our life that, you know, you'll look at someone else the same age as you and you're like, wow, they, they have it all together. They're so mature and they, they have this, they have that. It's just like they have the picture perfect, you know, um, life, you know, with all the bells and whistles. But when our spirits are childlike, what does a child care about? A child is in their imagination. A child is in their head and their thoughts. And they can kind of be in their me, me, me attitude, right? So we have to just be conscious of that because I do that as well. It could come off as being self-centered, but it's not because when you, when you have a youth, youthful spirit and you're childlike, that is what goes on in a child's mind. They do think that the universe surrounds them, you know, and their problems. They, they really feel like no one else is going through the same thing. So when that happens, we do have to contact our higher self to kind of uplift ourselves and get um, talk to our more mature self, which is always in the heavenly realms. Right. So I just wanted to point that out. 
And then he said, I would be doing a disservice to you if I picked you up and just carried you throughout this life. Guys, that's not how it works. You are here to learn the lessons. When our soul gets friction, all that pain, all the disappointment, that creates friction. That's what our soul wants. So it can expand, so it can grow, so it can learn. So no, source energy cannot pick us up, guys. But we can pick ourselves up, right? Like I said, only a fragment of our soul comes down here to have the earth experience. Our higher self is always in the heavenly realm, willing and ready to assist us when we ask. She even said in that reply back to me, she said that she was praying to, to source energy, God, praying to the divine, her spirit guides and her higher self. She gets it. She's already on the frequency. So I just want to already let you know that you are just, you're actually light years away from a lot of other souls that are inhabiting this earth right now. So you are on a beautiful path. I just want to let you know that. Okay. So we can create the life that we want. All right. Don't listen to the naysayers. Guys, this is so big. Source said they don't know what you know. When she e emailed me back, she said that she thought she had it all mapped out and figured out. But when she went home, doubt started to creep in because guys, when you I know we get so excited and we want to share our, our thoughts and our ideas and our passion with people. But the truth is, a lot of people are not on the same frequency. They are on a different frequency. And that's okay. Maybe that's where they need to be for their soul's journey. But what did the divine source energy say? He said, don't listen to the naysayers. They don't know what you know. Just tune into your spirit self where I reside and you in me. So he's saying change the frequency on them, right? If they're on a lower frequency, he said tune in. That is changing the frequency, guys. That is huge. We have the ability to do that. Source just said tune in to your spirit self where I reside in you and you in me. Guys, don't listen to the naysayers. Guys, I wouldn't even be here on this channel if I'm listening to people around me because they don't get it. Guess what? I turned the channel on them. I tuned them out. And I'm tuning in to the divine source energy that lives inside of me. Because we are one in love. Yes. So then the source goes on to say that love is the answer. And I love that. He said, once you find love, you will find healing and peace. Love, guys. Love. When we're going through problems, love. Spend the whole day telling people you love them. You go to the gas station, tell the attendant you love them. You go to the grocery store, tell the cashier you love them. Guys, we've already agreed to this. We're going to be here. We've already agreed to this before we came down to this earth, this life. So guess what? You might as well love it's just going to help you. It's going to help you move through it better. Okay? And then he said, laugh. Laughter brings you closer to me. I love that. Remember, I always tell you God has a personality. And we should too, guys. So that was just... Let me check my notes. I don't want to miss anything, okay? Oh, the other thing I do want to mention is that she was talking about um, her purpose, right? That she thought that she had found her purpose, but then doubts crept in again. Guys, I get a lot of emails about this, and I go through this myself. It seems that a lot of us want to just speed this train on up and get the heck up off this planet because sometimes we are lost on this planet because we are not living in purpose. We are not living in our divine purpose because the world tells us you can't because you got to get this job, this certain job. You know, you got to make this amount. You got to pay these bills. You got to do this and you do that. No, we're not here for all of the earth accolades. We're not here for all of that. If you follow your divine God given purpose, everything will be added unto you. I'm telling you it will. Okay. So purpose equals prosperity. Purpose is the divine path that you should walk down. So if anybody is questioning 
whether they should be here on this planet or not, or contemplating hurting themselves in any way. I'm just going to ask that you tune out the naysayers and you change the frequency on them and you tune into your spirit self where God resides in you and you in God, okay? And you also walk and live in divine purpose no matter what anybody says. And I guarantee you, it's going to brighten up your spirit, right? So guys, we have to be living a life of purpose. Guys, I'm going to leave it there for now because I don't want the videos to be so long. But I just want to say that, yes, the person who sent me this email, you can hear from God, right? Guys, one thing to point out is she's doing the same thing that I'm doing, right? She said that I was hoping that you would be an instrument, you know, that to show me that I'm on the right path. So she was hoping that I would be a confirmation to her from source energy, God, that she's on the right path, guys. And I was just the vessel that God chose to use to tell her, yes, you're on the right path. So I do want to thank you. You are a beautiful soul. Like I said, you are okay. Everything's going to work out once you change the channel on those naysayers and just tune into your spirit self. You're going to be just fine and laugh guys laugh through the pain we're gonna be here anyway we might as well have fun while we're on the stage play right because we've already agreed to all of this guys okay i hope this resonated with any of you beautiful people out there guys please i need you to build back better build me back better help me Donate to the channel. I'm going to leave my cash app and my Zelle. Guys, I have a huge divine vision for this channel. We are going to change the course of humanity itself because we are going to teach everyone that we are all one in love. Okay? And it's going to change the course of humanity forever. And that is my vision. And I need you guys to help me. Okay. What else? Go ahead and watch the podcast. Like I said, it's in the description box, the, the link, and you can watch my near-death-like experience, guys. It is very, very interesting. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell because, like I said, I'm going to be posting videos all the time because the more people I can help, the faster I can get the heck up off this planet and get my spirit body so I can eat my donuts again. Guys, in all seriousness, I love you. The divine source energy, God loves you. The trees and all the elements love you. And I'm going to say it. Love is the way. Forgiveness is the key. And truth is the light that guides us home. Be blessed. I love you.